guys, it's me, Brandon. Here we have the Armor of God from the last series. When we have the Armor of God, we're sort of like a superhero. Um, Super Brandon? Yes, Brandon? I have a letter from a girl named Olivia who says that she needs your help. Let's read it. Dear Super Brandon, Hi, I'm Olivia. I have a fear of the dark. I just can't seem to get over it. Every time the lights turn off, I get scared. Please help. Everybody has fears. Brenda is scared of spiders, and I'm scared of tight spaces. But every time we feel scared, we still remember some of these Bible verses. Isaiah 41.10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Psalms 56.3 When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. And Joshua 1.9 Have I commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, but the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Each part of the armor of God has a function. Remember the sword of spirit? The sword of the spirit represents the Bible. We can use the sword of the spirit and the whole armor of God in everyday situations. We have to use the sword of spirit that represents the Bible to replace those fields with these Bible verses. Since God is always with us, we can be assured that God is protecting us even in the dark or wherever you happen to be. This is why it's important to memorize Bible verses and read your Bible every day. And you have to trust in God with all your hearts that His promises in the Bible are true. And He's protecting you always. So there's no reason to be afraid because you know that God is with you always. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!